hi everyone welcome to my channel let's solve the problem roman to integer so this is a very easy and straightforward problem but very good problem and is almost asked in every company interviews like google amazon apple and so on so the problem is roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols i v x l c d m and these are the corresponding integer values of these symbols like this i is represent 1 v represent 5 x represent 10 and so on so for example 2 is written in this by adding two i's in the roman numeral just two ones added together 12 is written at x then i i which is 12 10 plus 2 like 10 plus 1 plus 1 which is 2 and the number 27 is can be written as like x plus x which is 10 plus 10 20 and v is 525 then 1 plus 1 which is 2 so 27 so roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right so new roman numerals are written in the form of largest so let's say if we have to represent 1500 in that case we first take 1000 which is m then second is d so md is represent uh, from largest so the first thousand is largest in the left side then the smallest uh, d is in the right side so this is how roman numerals are represented so another point here to note that however the numeral for 4 is not like 4i instead of this can be written as like i is before the v v is represent here 5 and i comes before the v then this means 5 minus 1 if it is comes after v which means 5 plus 1 which is 6 and this is 4 because the one of the 5 we subtract it making 4 and the same principle applies to the number 9 which is written as ix and there are 6 instances where subtraction is used to happen when i can be placed before the v and x so it will become uh, 4 and 9 and when x is placed before the l and c which is like l represent 50 and c represent 100 so this will become 40 and 90 corresponding similarly if c can place before d and m it will become 400 and 900 so this is the important thing we have to note that here otherwise the mapping is very straightforward we just process the string if this kind of situation is not there then we just process the string like this i is 1 then another i1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 similarly here but here as per this rule we have to change the rule so here how we will solve this so we have to convert the roman string into the integer value so one of the solution what we can do for these cases we know the mapping directly but for the cases where this iv ix and similarly xl and xc and another is cd and cm so these are the numbers so what we will do first we can do pre-processing in our string we will check if this string contain this then we will represent it by 4 so 4 i can represent as like 4 we just convert this is a hacky solution pre-process step similarly for this 9 we can convert it as uh, v5 then 4 i which is i i i and i so like that we can do for other so this is the pre-processing by using a string dot replace all we can run for all the six cases once we done then after that it is straightforward like take the mapping from here and sum them up so for this example as we can see m is as it is is fine then cm we can represent cm as dcc so which is represent 900 now 500 plus 400 Similarly, after that we have xc. So, this xc we will represent l x x 4 times. So, this is now 90. Again, we have i4. So, this we can convert it as i i i i. So, this is how. Once we replace the string by using this 6 replace all method, then we can just cover, count this like m is from this table is 1000. 1000 plus 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 so this become 1900 till here after that we have 90 so plus 90 plus we have 4 so this becomes 1994 
So this is the one solution. You can pause the video and do the pre-processing on the string and then use the simple mapping. So here is the code for this approach. So this is the first step like replacing the six different cases where we can represent like 4, 9 and uh, 40, 90, 400 and 900 by converting with actual this parameter and after that so there are many other ways to write the code i am using this simple uh, switch case you can also create a map of this uh, table here first like corresponding this character we will return this integer value then you can just write in a simple this whole code in a by using the values from the map itself so i am using switch case let's say now somebody want you to don't apply this pre-processing early just process character wise and take the decision and construct this roman into the numeral so how we will solve this problem so in that case again in the same example so what we will do instead of processing from start we will try from the end so from the end when we are coming the reason is being coming from the end as the it is mentioned over here so roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right so that's why we will process first smallest from the right side and then move toward the left to process the largest so that is the reason we start from here now when we encounter v so from this mapping as we know v is corresponding to 5 so okay we can take the 5 first this is our represent let's say result that is will we contain overall integer value initially it got 5 now as soon as we encounter i so there can be three cases it is actual i there is no other character on the right or there might be like this case like say if i i and v process for size so this means we need to take one for this similarly one for this but the other cases like i v and i x so this means we have to form it four and this means we need to form it nine but before this we process this v and x we added five and here we added ten so in that case we need to subtract if we are getting i just after the v from right to left so what we will do we will check in this case when we have got the i then we will check if our result is greater than or equals to 5 so in that case like great this is 5 and this is 10 so greater than or equal to 5 then we subtract 1 otherwise we will add 1 so this is the step this is the uh, way to solve these two cases similarly for other two cases like axel and axi so when we get axel and axi so in that case when we are processing from here first for l we will add 50 then we reach to x in that case we will check if our result is greater than or equals to 50 if it is then we will subtract 10 otherwise we will add 10 similarly for c case so this is how we will handle those cases so let's implement this solution without doing pre-processing so i have already written down the code the pre-processing one so here we just comment this part here and instead of uh, uh, iterating this loop from start we will start from the end of the string so which is a length minus one character then come until the zeroth index and i minus minus so again we are using same switch case so only the condition we need to put over here so we have to do plus one or minus one based on so here we will multiply the one or minus one if our result is greater than or equals to five then if result is greater than equal to five we will multiply it with minus one otherwise plus one so this is the case in uh, here similarly we need to put this case in case of 10 when we are getting x so we will add it over here and here the condition is greater than or equal to 550 and also we need to put over here in 500 so here also we will check this should be greater than or equal to 500 then we will subtract 100 otherwise we will add the 100 so this is the code just without any preposition so let's compile the code with all the test cases and see oh Mm, so the thing is we need to define here first character c so char c is equal to s dot char at ith index so that should work now so as you can see we are getting the expected answer now we can submit this code 
and it got accepted. So the time complexity of this, as you can see, the whatever the length of our string. So here the length constraint is given 15. So we can say it is constant or over 15. Similarly, for the space, we are using just a result variable, so which is constant. So if you like this solution, hit the like button and try out the another problem where we need to convert integer to Roman. So that is a problem number 12, I guess, on LitCode. So you can get try it out. That is also a very good problem. Thanks for watching.